Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be discussing hypernatremia. I will include causes, assessment, and nursing interventions. My name is Christina, nurse practitioner. Let's get started. So a normal sodium level is between 135 to 145. For hypernatremia, it is when your sodium level is greater than 145 and you will have an elevated urine specific gravity test. So some of those causes fall into four categories. So the first one is water loss. Think fever, infection, diabetes, which increases your metabolism. The second category is from not enough water intake, either from fasting or your patient that is nothing by mouth. And the third category is from your kidneys not excreting the sodium, which is related to kidney disease, Cushing syndrome and corticosteroids. And your last category is number four, which includes too much sodium from IV fluids containing sodium. So what are the assessment findings with your patient that has elevated sodium levels? Beginning with the cardiovascular system. So your heart rate and blood pressure will correlate with your vascular status. What I mean by that is if your patient is normal volemic, he or she may just have a fast heart rate or your patient with hypovolemia will have a fast heart rate plus hypotension because they don't have enough volume or your patient that is hypervolemic will have a rapid heart rate, hypertension, and or elevated CVP, also known as central venous pressure that monitors the volume status. For volume status in regards to respiratory, if your patient has hypervolemia, too much volume, it may result in pulmonary edema. Moving on to neurological system. For your patient that is normal volemic or hypovolemic, he or she may have confusion or seizures. With hypervolemia, your patient may have lethargy or coma, and early symptoms may present as muscle contractions, which can later progress to muscle weakness. Next system would be your gastrointestinal that would result in thirst and decreased urine output. And last would be your integumentary system. Your patient will have dry, flushed skin and a sticky tongue. Some interventions, you should limit the foods containing sodium. Treat the underlying cause, whether it is induced by nausea, diarrhea, fever, or renal failure. Give fluids to the patient that is hypovolemic or for your patient that is hypervolemic, consider diuretics that help with sodium excretion. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Oh,